Well, hello everybody, I'm talking to you from the future. Ooh, because <laughs> rookie mistake. Now I've unboxed this vacuum cleaner that you're about to see, I've turned it on, I've shown you around it, and then I've just suddenly realized that I forgot to turn the microphone on. Rookie mistake, but it's happened to the best of us. So that's why the video is gonna seem a little bit different to you. I'm gonna to have to try and voice over some narration post-production. So sorry about that. I've recorded all the pictures and there's no way I can put this machine back in the box and open it. Well, you'll see why. It was a bit of an epic unboxing. So sorry about that, but please enjoy the video anyway. Um, enjoy me opening and uh, demonstrating this Electrolux vacuum. Hello everyone. Well, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, I've got a terrible cold. This uh, video was recorded probably two years ago, as you can see from the old carpet. Um, the date of filming this is March the 30th, 2022. And yes, <clears throat> I have a cold, folks. Not the flu, just the head cold. I'm getting over it. Um, I'll be fine. So here, here's the vacuum. Lots of little boxes, as you can see. It's all very exciting. It was only halfway in the video that I realised I hadn't got the microphone switched on. Oh, there's an empty box. That was uh, fun. What's next? I think that's another empty box. Yes. This person loves the trainers, don't they? Nike as well. Look, more empty boxes. That's uh, fascinating. And here's another box. Is this empty or is it empty? Let's have a look. It's an empty box. Well, here's an unboxing. Well, I've forgotten all about this. It's so long ago. I've, I don't even know, folks, where this vacuum cleaner is. I've still got it. I've no idea where. More cardboard, honestly. Anyway, I wonder if it's going to end up all broken in pieces, folks. Well, there's a big box. I think, I think that's the vacuum itself. I'm not sure. I think it is. Oh, so good. how are you anyway? I've never done this before. It's a bit uh, odd trying to record so long ago because it's not going to be spontaneous. This has happened ages ago and I'm a lot thinner there, look. So here's a nozzle that came with it. This is a nozzle for an Electrolux 345. So I didn't realise I had that. So I think now I've got three of those. One that came with my almost new in the box Electrolux 345. I bought a spare one that look quite new and then there's this spare one because I believe well it's not this is not the correct nozzle I'm uh, describing the nozzle in great detail there I'm sure you're very excited I might need to have a bit of a blow later <clears throat> a bit bit blocked up so there we go so that's a spare so that's always nice isn't it when you're opening something to get a few spares now this is the correct nozzle for the electrolux 305 the flip over floor tool pretty dire but at least it's the deluxe one as you can see i'm pointing out the yellowing this is the more deluxe because it does have the metal facing there so the way i'm holding it is the hard floor way with the brushes down and yes i'm pointing out it's got the metal facing so that's the rear rear we're showing the brush so uh Yes, not very good. I will be demonstrating this. I put down some muck. By the time I demonstrate this, I figured out that I'd uh, left the, the microphone off. So some of this video, you'll get the original audio for not my voiceover. And there's look, it looks like a guitar. As you can see, I'm strumming my guitar. I wonder what tune I was trying to play there. So off that comes. And that's it's the hose, folks in a golden wonder crisp box there be careful with those scissors roger you don't want to have another episode like you had with the old hoover sensory recently where you bled on it almost bled to death in that video folks but i'm here to tell the tale as i say i'm just just got a bit of a cold but it's going just some cold relief capsules that's all i took plenty of rest extra vitamin c and zinc and I'm feeling a lot better today. I sound very, I'm very blocked up. Very, very, I do have a blockage. So that's, um, I think that's all original. It has a slightly different uh, suction control on there, I can see. But I, I do believe, folks, that's an original Dubri. Put it down, Roger. We've seen enough of that. 
And uh, this could be a tube in here. Oh, two tubes. Two tubes. Or is it just two cardboard dubras? I don't know. Oh, well, I'm going in for the kill with the scissors. That's it, Roger. What could be in there, I wonder? Yes, why have you shown that again? Get on with it. Oh, I know what it's like for you folks now watching. Just get on with it. Come on, you stupid so-and-so. Right, that looks in good nick, doesn't it? Hmm. Yes, that'll clean up very well. So that's the single aluminium piece tube that you get with the Electrolux cleaners of that era. Hoover always seemed to do two with their pip fitting. And Electrolux always did. Is there two? Well, that is good because I need another one. <laughs> so, yes, it, it's another one. That's fantastic. I did need one for an Electrolux. I think it was an Electrolux 355, which I've recently got out of storage at the time of making the video. Oh, that's that's fantastic. No idea where that spare's gone, obviously, but um, so I've got two. Well, this is uh, interesting. I don't know if I've still got that shirt. I'm not sure it's a, yes. I'm a lot, lot thinner there. Anyway, so is that it, everybody? Is that it for the bit? No, no, what's in that tube? Is there something in there? Could be the crevice tool, couldn't it? It is. There it is. A standard Electrolux crevice tool. Did I... Have we got the butterfly tool? Have I shown that yet? I'm not sure. Perhaps it doesn't have one. I might have a spare. We'll see. I don't think the silly fool has finished unboxing. Yes. So... Oh, right. I don't know. Was there... A, I don't think there was a butterfly tool. That's a shame. Pretty sure I've got a spare one. So here we are. This is the cleaner itself. Very well packaged, isn't it? A box within a box within a box. Lots of packaging. So um, I think we can safely say, fingers crossed, that this Electrolux 305 did turn out uh, unbroken. Here we go with the scissors again. That's it. Oh, 40 white demi baguettes. Mmm. So, and bubble wrap as well. What a good seller. Fantastic, folks. Isn't that marvellous? I, I do believe it's slightly discoloured part of this cleaner. But um, I think we'll find when I get the bubble wrap up, off that it's in pretty good shape. It does sound a bit rough, though, I feel. It doesn't have the smooth Electrolux wind down. I don't think there's much I can do. Maybe just do a bit of oiling and greasing when I eventually find it again and do it. Do it up, as I say. Yes. I'm just going through my old computer at the, mo at the moment, folks. My desktop computer. Now, I knew I had this video um, in the archives. And I knew some of you would like to see it. I also knew that uh, there was a problem with the audio. And you can't really, once you've made that sort of mistake, I couldn't have shoved it in the box again and done it. So this is why years later I am sat on my sofa in my living room with a head cold narrating this fabulous video for you. Look at that. Oh, I love the brown. It's so 70s. I think we'll find that this is a 70s cleaner. The orange and brown. Now you see the end cap there. I think that should be white not that creamy color but it doesn't detract from the cleaners looks and look at that isn't that so 70s a little bit more basic than the lovely 345 check that video i was sold that as new i think it was that 345 but if you watch the video it clearly had been used but it, it was still in almost mint condition and the electrox 345 alongside my 502 and 504 uprights are three Electrolux cleaners that will certainly be staying in my collection for a long, long time. And possibly this one as well. I will be getting rid of some, um, but I do like the 70s vacuums. Quality there, folks, and as you can see, I'm fondling it and uh, judging it as if it was an object. And it, in fact, is an object. As all vacuums are, they change the shot there, look. So there's the built-in carry handle, built-in carry handle, not broken, sometimes they can be broken. And it's a metal-bodied machine, certainly the middle part, with a vinyl cover. 
Electrolux did that uh, for a lot of their machines. And look at that lovely 70s styling. Absolutely lovely. There we go, 305, and you can just see Electrolux logo there embossed on the uh, back of the machine. It says Lux, and they go look made in England. I'm not sure if I do a close up of that. Probably not. Two wheels with nice rubber tyres on. And as you can see, Electrolux are pretty unique, I think, by having the automatic cord wheel coming out of one of the wheels. I always thought that was a neat little idea. Very clever piece of design, that. And it's got the original grey flex. I don't know if that's a, a repair there, that red thing, or is that just saying, don't pull out beyond this point? I didn't know they did it with older cleaners like that. I think I'm looking at the plug now. Here is the plug, they've pat tested it. It's a modern plug by the looks of it because it's got the insulated pins, so it's not not age appropriate for this 70s cleaner. Now I'm afraid you won't be able to hear it. I'm going to switch on for the first time. Here goes. Oh, I don't know, I saw a jolt. It might have been on, it might have been off. I don't know. It was on. It's off. Anyway, it didn't blow up. It's not a Milo. It didn't blow up. It hasn't given me a shock so far. So there we go. Hopefully soon, folks, the original audio will be back and you'll hear me speaking from beyond the grave, so to speak. Well, one day you will, actually. One day somebody viewing this will wonder why I don't upload any more videos. But it's because I'm dead. But my legacy lives on in these YouTube videos, yes. And I'll be watching you from my little apartment in heaven. No, it'll be a detached with a, be fully detached new build with um, a utility room with matching washer and dryer. That's where I'll be watching you from. So it clearly works. As I said, later on you will see it in action. Uh, here comes the uh, exhaust air vent grill. Is it going, am I going to get it off? I think it should come. Yes, there we are. Had a bit of trouble. Black carbon dust, as you can see on the underside of that, but that'll all clean off. Hot soapy water and a bit of a cloth. I'm sure I've got some of those in my stocks. Uh, that's the diffuser. Look how black it is in the mid, uh, not in the middle, it's clean in the middle. I wonder why that is. Why did they stay clean in the middle? Please answer below. Oh, it's got 09. Somebody's written Mm, 20, 25, 03, 09. That's possibly when they put a new filter in. And I've got my hands on that filthy body there. Look at all that carbon dust. And I'm pointing to the hole. The hole where you can connect the hose for blowing. A fantastic blowing action. Electrox had a blowing outlet on most of their cleaners. Unlike Hoover didn't seem to do that. Saying that, no, they did on some of their more basic cylinders this type of cylinder you know this shape of cylinder when they launched the more modern cylinders like the compacts and sensortronics or oh, even the freedom didn't did it the freedom never had a blowing outlet as far as i know this is most like the freedom i suppose in style the very traditional cylinder style of vacuum i think i'm going to be pointing out the foot operated on off switch and the foot operated automatic cord rewind and there you go what are we doing oh on the underside i'm pointing out the vinyl coating and uh, there's a little double i think i'm talking about the discoloration yes i think that is the color it should be on the underside of the cleaner should be more white than cream we've got a single caster wheel there as you can see it doesn't swivel though um, so I think I'm pointing out there with my finger underneath well that's the rating sticker we'll have a close look at that in a minute hopefully I'll be able to read it out so it's model Z305 product number 9005301 serial number 701 240 volts 50 hertz 700 watts and it's got the British Electrotechnical Approvals Board produced to BS3456 a Lux product made in England I think I'm going to be pointing out the hanging hook now. Didn't come with the hook itself, but uh, 
Normally they would be supplied with a metal hook you could put on your wall and then the cleaner would hang up on the wall with the hose sort of wrapped around it. I've got instruction books that show that. So that was a, a nice little idea if you wanted to hang up your vacuum. Nowadays people have their vacuums on the wall, don't they, if they were cordless? So, yes, pretty strong to be able to hang itself up on the wall. This is the end of the cleaner. That um, button I was looking at, that's to release the bag door. It's hinged. And that, uh, as I discover shortly, that is the bag check indicator. It's not like an adjustable thing that we found on the 330 and 345. It doesn't have an adjustable dial. It's basically a piston style bag check indicator and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, wh what else could I be saying about it? Well, that's where you put the hose. Uh, that's made of metal, that uh, button. And yes, it's discoloured, folks. Yes, you've shown that once before. Very interesting. There's a close-up of it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's have a look at the state of the dust bag. Oop, bit mucky. Yes, you can see from the inside there, look. It should be this white colour. It's got one of the self-sealing, sort of, dust bags. But also, it's inside a cloth bag. So we've got a double layer of filtration. That's yeah, needs a bit of a vacuum, but it's not too bad. And inside, again, I don't think there was a pre-motor filter. But look at that, lovely shiny, clean as a new pin there. Right, that's good. So that's uh, that's all fine and dandy. Pretty good. I need to get some of these bags because I haven't got any of that particular one. A lot easier to fit than the previous version, the 302. And I think there was a 303 after the 302 in a red and black colour, basically the same machine. So that goes in there. I'm actually speaking to you now live. I have got the microphone on just at, at the start of the section showing you the bag. That's when I discovered <laughs> that the mic wasn't on. So I'm wondering what's, uh, what this, this is about because I can't see any any indication. Um, I expect the gubbins are inside this part here. There's something that controls the indicator. I don't think this turns off or anything. There's no automatic feature. I wonder if the next machine up from this would have been the 330, which I do have. But um, I think I'll, I'll block off the end. I don't think anything, I don't think like it's a piston indicator. So when I block the end, I'm, I don't think we're going to see anything. But you never know, we might do. We'll give it a go, shall we? Let's switch it on. Ah, so there was an indicator. You could just about see there was a red indicator that came along and it fluctuated as I blocked the airflow off. So it does look like it's a sort of a standard piston indicator. It was showing, I think, around midway when I wasn't uh, blocking the airflow. So if this had a new bag in it and a clean outer cloth bag, it probably would show under the one setting. So you learn something every day. I never knew it had that feature. So, yeah, pretty pleased with this. That's a, oh, that's a little bit loose. Mm. It's quite loose. It doesn't have that nice funk. Yeah, it's probably that end that needs replacing. And yes, to think of it, I've seen one of these on eBay recently. Just this end part, and it's it's this part I want. It's the uh, the rubber seal. I think a replacement. I can see it's it's cracked and broken. Look, look there, look. So it's not having. I mean, it still will seal, but it, it's it's loose. 
some suction will be lost and not a great deal of suction will be lost through that but yes I, I'm gonna that part has been on eBay for a while so I think it should be there I'll check it when I finish this video <laughs> Where's my suction gauge? Uh, it does seem it's a good good suction on it. Yeah, she's a good sucker. Now then, hitch up my trousers, and oh, I can't see my suction gauge because it's uh, probably if I turn the camera around, you'd see why I can't find anything because the whole room is filled with packaging. <laughs> oh dear me, it's gone, folks. Oh, oh no, I've seen it, I've seen it, I've seen it. Fear not, the suction gauge is here. We'll see what it's like. We won't bother doing it at the hose end, at uh, the cleaner end. It doesn't make much difference. It's a much, much more practical hose, this, than the old uh, fabric covered ones. So, got a slightly different suction control and no storage for the missing butterfly tool. I think that's the same sort of control we got on the uh, 302. So I'll close that up. Ram my suction gauge on the end of the hose. Get a nice tight seal and we'll see where this needle goes to. That was nearly 70 on the gauge which isn't bad for a 700 watt motor and especially a 700 watt motor in such an old vacuum cleaner we haven't been able to date this yet but um, I would say it's from the 70s possibly early 80s but um, probably mid to late 70s is my guess but you can tell me below in the comments if you know the age of this Electrolux vacuum There you go that's the end of today's video on the electrolux 305 vacuum cleaner proving that there's life in the old dog yet yes she can still suck she managed to pick up mostly everything i put down some of the hairs were a little bit taxing but uh, with a bit of a scrub i picked them up no trouble so if you have any comments or questions about this retro vacuum cleaner please comment below stay tuned for more videos please subscribe, please thumb up and don't forget to click the bell icon and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. So until then, it's goodbye from me and goodbye from the Electrolux 305.